you can deliver it, right? There is but one region that is exempt from West Indian Federation. From the titles of his collection, it was evident that the Kerala Hammer meant for his composition a particular type of boat and to educate the population. There were also a fertile avenue for him to make his composition to the political world. In 1946, Raymond Cavada became the first Tamil Kavi to hold public office after he was elected to serve in the police force in the council. While he continued to perform as a Tamil Kavi, he devoted equal attention to his political career, advancing to the position of Deputy Mayor of Kerala State. In 1951, Kavada rose again politically when he was elected to the Legislative Council as a representative for Saint George Council seat. This marked the first time in the country's history that a practicing Tamil Kavi was also a member of Kerala Congress in the highest political department. Maintaining his active presence in Kerala, he was a member of the Tamil Nadu Improvement Board. He was on the Railway Board too, and like so many others during this time, he would also use his political club to advance the cause of national sovereignty in India. As a politician, Kavada was influenced by individuals such as Dr. Arthur Andrew Sukriyan, Albert Graham, and Councillor O.P. James, the Trinidad Labour Chairman. At one point, he was president of the Trinidad Labour Chairman. Having the Dinta Nakmanda's of trade unions and political parties, Kavada had the creative authority to foment all sorts of ideas to make sure trade unions had something to say. Kavada lamented that these organizations were failing those who wanted to represent and called on trade union leaders to unite for the greater cause, the improvement of the conditions of the working classes. Having a double career with each role impacting on the other, Cavado never really separated his career as a politician from that of a Tamil scholar. He actually fought in the corridors of Kerala to have Sahitya recognized as the natural folk art of Trinidad and Tobago. He also lobbied to enact legislation on the succession of West Indian artists from Paris and had written to the United States Consul in Cairo on international copyright issues. One piece of legislation that Cavado was extremely vociferous about was the dated 1934 Theatre Crime Court Ordinance, which gave the police and secret society the right to issue licenses for the operation of criminal affairs. Cavado strongly opposed this act, denouncing it as an attempt on the part of the colonial government to control the cultural expression of the working classes. He identified carnival, hotel, foot fattening, and the beating of drums as part of the cultural heritage of Trinidad and Tobago and pleaded that these art forms needed protection from those who sought to curb their development. Cavado was also vocal about perceived racial discrimination in Trinidad, which inspired his calypso Guardian Beauty Carnival. He saw this competition in particular as epitomizing the preference of light-skinned beauty queens. At the back then, but more importantly for one who delivered social commentary on Trinidad and Tobago and was a member of the club, Cavado strongly supported the move to recognize the beauty of Kerala. He belonged to a caste of artists that had advocated for West colonial domination of Trinidad and Tobago. He also had his own ideas about the issue of segregation. In his Calypso, Trinidad had Tamil Nadu, and Trinidad had the Calypso of Kerala. But he was known by the ironic pseudonym of Rajendra Nath Kavada. Throughout his life, Raymond Cavado worked tirelessly as a politician representing his constituents and the Calypsonian following his plan. Not content just with serving, Cavado wrote and then sang for the Hindu Cultural House in Bellakam Kumar. He published many books on Hindu cultural lyrics and his main work centered on documentation of Calypso, the history of Carnival. In 1983, one of his most famous books was the Kerala Society of Tamil Art, which was so great that Kerala Kerala published a copy of it. It contains all of his poems and works and the lyrics of many of his songs. In 1992, Raymond Cavado wrote a hymn called Kerala and it is covered. He has the distinction of being one of the contributors to both the Tamil Nadu and the Tamil Kerala. Furthermore, as an author, he is acknowledged as a historian of the cultural and social memory of Trinidad and Tobago. Cavado's devotion to the performing arts breeds insincere and he will continue to be commemorated as the man who took to the streets of Gurgaon in Kerala and to the masses. His compassion for the working classes, his interest in their education, and his attempts to advance their political cause through Calypso are unfailing in memory. In 1952, Raymond Cavado, a 
Sierra Leone that was later to become the Supreme Leader of Cuba, was posthumously awarded the Civil Rights Award for Public Service by the Samoan Jury for the contribution he made to win the public confidence and to the genre of political theatre. Michael Phillips says his legacy of his people is truly worthy of honour.